Hey, I wanted to talk to you about a paragraph in A Course in Miracles. Um, it's in chapter 10. The section is the denial of God, and the paragraph is, I think, paragraph 12. And I'll just read it so you can find it yourself. This is from the public domain version of A Course in Miracles. Um, yes. <laughs> anyway, that's available online in, in various places. Uh, this is a custom version, but it, you know, pr pretty true to the original public domain version. Um, but custom printing anyway. Anyway, the paragraph reads, if God knows his children as wholly sinless, it is blasphemous to perceive them as guilty. That's the first sentence. Um, the second sentence is, if God knows, and this is what I'm talking about, or wanting to bring up, if God knows his children is wholly without pain, it is blasphemous to perceive them, excuse me, if God knows his children as wholly without pain, it is blasphem blasphemous to perceive suffering anywhere. I'll just read the whole thing. I'll read the rest of it. If God knows his children to be wholly joyous, it is blasphemous to feel depressed. All of these illusions and the many other forms that blasphemy may take are refusals, refusals to accept creation as it is. If God created his son perfect, that is how you must learn to see him, to learn of his reality, and as part of the sonship, that is how you must see yourself to learn of yours. So it's saying, one, to perceive yourself as perfect. But yeah, the, so that one sentence I want to focus on, where it says, if God knows his children as holy without pain, it is blasphemous to perceive suffering anywhere. And I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I was trained to be counselor, you know. Um, I was working towards uh, being a licensed professional counselor, and we are supposed to diagnose and treat mental disorders, which is, by definition, emotional suffering. So according to this, is not the whole profession, so according to to A Course in Miracles, um, and there's even, the, the in the, the third edition, there's even the whole, uh, you know, psychotherapy purpose, process, and practice, something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, this has really stuck out of me, and I've been pondering this for a while, and if you have ideas of how to interpret this or what this means, please do reply, or, you know, in a comment or video or an article, it doesn't matter to me, just let me know somehow, because, um, uh, yeah, you know, that could potentially be my livelihood, counseling, but again, um, according to A Course in Miracles, it is blasphemous to perceive suffering anywhere. So same thing with doctors. If a doctor um, seeing somebody for uh, for uh, a bone cancer and that person's in a tremendous pain, you know, is that doctor in doing blasphemy? I mean, what is blasphemy? Um, you know, I should actually go look that up. Uh, you know, my, my, I'll, maybe I'll look it up later and make a more detailed video about that. My understanding is it's like if you're blaspheming, you're, you're going against what is true. And again, A Course in Miracles talks about, you know, sin is not real, but error is real. But error can be corrected. So in the sense of, you know, if blaspheming is error, but well, you can correct that by, you know, choosing again. So, but yeah, this, this has really, really stuck out of me. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really just asking the question, you know, uh, you know, how, how should we interpret that? How should we deal with, with what this is saying, and Course in Miracles is saying, if Course in Miracles is true? You know, is, is it blasphemous to perceive suffering? And what should we do about it if it is? So that's, that's my thought, my question for you. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I think I might end it there. I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. I got, I got that off my chest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great morning, evening, afternoon, or day wherever, whenever you may be. Thank you.